Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at the Convectrix. And this thing looks to be quite interesting from what I've seen of it so far. I've only seen it kind of fired in game once. But it doesn't look that bad of a weapon. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that good of a weapon either, which is a bit of a shame. But it does coincide with the secondary, which is a new secondary, which is based on the same style of technology. Basically, 17 was the Grenier update. 17.5 is very corpus heavy. These weapons do look very corpus like. This will cost 175 platinum, which is cheap for a primary. Or, the blueprint for it is obviously available inside of the... I keep calling it the chemical lab. This is the energy lab or the corpus lab. You can't really miss the giant um, corpus thing in the middle there. And I cannot remember what the jackal's called. I know it's called that is the jackal, but I'm trying to remember what the variant's called. There's the little one, Lynx. It would have been better if Lynx was there because it's blue, but no, jackal. Anyway, the blueprint for it is available in here. It does need to be researched first, which will take three days. Once that's done, you just have to hit replicate. 15,000. It will take a former, because it is a, a clan weapon. Most clan weapons do. 900 oxium, 10 control modules, 5 built fieldrons, and 30,000 credits. The fieldron is this. Weirdly, the only thing I can really think to actually compare this to are the Conta-style weapons, like the Paralyst here, which... Is just a toxin based weapon so it's pretty useless then there is the normal quanta which is electricity based so it's not really worth it and <laughs> then the quanta vandal which is also not worth it because it's electricity based there is of course the mutilist which I think I may have gone past I pretty much guarantee I've gone past the mutilist quanta hang on um, yeah there it is panic over this one at least has physical attacks but it does more status than this thing does because the thing I actually have equipped, the new weapon, the Convectrix, has zero status to it. And being a clan weapon, this should be a little bit better, but fire rate's pretty slow, the crit is next to non existent. I do. N the status is 25. What? No? Zero. Status per second, is it's got a 25% status per second, but a 0% status chance. But it doesn't ha This weapon just, it, I swear, it gets weirder and weirder. But then if you go here, it's status per second is 25% again. So it does have status effect on it. So this could be made into a status weapon. Maybe? Again, 25, but if you compare it to anything, status is 0. Hmm... Weird, weird, weird. Comes with a polarity, it is a dash. Which is a shame. Should God damn, that means it's going to need at least a V polarity. Possibly seven. This weapon to use is a weird one. It is very... Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the game. Because I only played a few bits of it. I never actually played the whole thing. And it's been bugging us since this thing actually came out. It's the same as the... The secondary here, the way it fires, is the same kind of thing. It's the same game. But I cannot remember what it is. The one where you got the three lines on your mask. Urgh! <laughs> That's really bugging me. I can see it. It's something in space. Where you're cutting people up with them. Yeah, you probably know uh, what I'm on about. The helmet's the giveaway. You got the three lines on your helmet. It's very much like that, but this thing uses shotgun mods, which makes it fairly weird, but it has a pretty decent range to it, as you can see. It is a charge fire weapon, so it, when you first fire it, you can see the lasers go off to the side. Can't really avoid that, but it does come together in the middle pretty nicely, so it actually works great for crowd control. Which was really, really weird for this weapon. Wait. The Syndicate thing's already dead. The actual accuracy of this can be a bit of a pain. The mods I've got on this, which are on the screen, are a... It is half arsedly modded. This thing needs formats so badly it's actually pretty ridiculous. But it's effective. 
it's ridiculously effective. Oh no, I'm cornered, what am I gonna do? Um, yeah, not a problem. Even after you stop firing, you can see it unwinds itself. And it, it, I don't know what it is, but this weapon is ridiculously useful. All right, everybody here now? Cool. But, of course, if you were to swap over to Mirage, it gets even better. Hey, what the? Hold on, I... Just got more okay, that's better. I'll swap over, yeah, Mirage, because it's much weirder with her, because obviously her little clones also use this thing. Oh, um... <laughs> okay, not the best of places to uh, start the recording, but I'm a sucker for punishment. Why not? So, Hall of Mirrors, this thing. And it is actually a lethal weapon. A, l a lot of these weapons are actually really lethal, the laser weapons. If you run round with Mirage's thing going. Because she is a lethal warframe. What the hell killed me this time? I didn't check on the mods I've actually got installed for her. So, huge possibility that I've come in without any mods in it at all. But... I'm lying on the floor in many different pieces, so <laughs> all the mirrors save the day again. But it is just ridiculously useful. I have found so many uses for this weapon; it's actually pretty ridiculous. Oh, there's a guy behind us as well. Are you what keeps killing everything? Oh crap! Reload. Don't stand a chance. You are taking a lot of punishment. And there goes the window and the weapon. Okay, actually, need to. Please don't come and hit me in the back while I'm doing this. That would suck. And Helios is also dead. These guys got a lot harder than they were last time I was in here. What the hell? Mirage, you're a wimp. And it actually says there's still somebody alive in here. Not anymore. So yes, it is actually a really handy weapon. It comes in just really handy. Its accuracy, well as you can see, no matter where I put the reticle, that's where they end up going. But the range, not as effective here as it was in the other mission, because uh, it's a laser weapon. They never really work at long range. But it still cleans the room out pretty well. Especially considering it's a shotgun, it's basically a more accurate phage. That's how I came to actually look at this thing. And yeah, I'm shooting through there, but I'm actually wasting ammo. Aye! It is you that keeps killing everyone. And if I actually do this as well, that would help. And down you go. No? The magazine size is pretty small, but it's also ridiculously big, all at the same time. Because, I mean, the magazine's like 100, but the fact it's a laser weapon, it does run through ammo pretty quickly. But I have not needed, ever, to put a ammo mutator in this, which is weird for a weapon that uses a lot of ammo. Usually you've got to run around and you've got to... Oh, crap, I did not see you kind of uh, mutate the ammo constantly, but with this thing, it's sitting pretty constant ammo-wise, which I also thought was pretty nice. It's not anywhere near an endgame style weapon, it's just a bit of fun. If you look at it towards endgame style stuff, it's not really that effective because it uses shotgun mods, and when it comes to shotguns, this thing is not the best at all. There are way better shotguns than this. I nearly missed that actually. But we'll leave this off here for now while I loot this place, trying to find some Manta ship parts and fail miserably. Which is a different video that'll come soon. I'm waiting on some other stuff before doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time as I drop dead. Ah, damn it! <laughs>